Yo, what's good, YouTube? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back, man. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe. But most importantly, turn on those bell notifications so you will be notified every Thursday when I drop a new tutorial. All right, man, for the ones that's been here since tutorial number one, we are on our eighth tutorial, man. Now, with today's tutorial, I will be teaching y'all how to do the offset background effect. The offset background effect, yes, man, the offset background effect, this effect right here. This offset background effect is a very popular effect that's used in a lot of music videos today. But for the ones that are still out there wanting to learn this effect, I will be going over that effect for y'all today and showing y'all how to really pull this effect off. Now enough talking, let's get right into it. All right, as y'all can see, we already have a timeline set up in Premiere Pro. And the clip that you see on this timeline is a clip that we will be using today to create this offset background effect. The first thing that you would do with this clip is click on it, right click it, and go to replace with After Effects composition. Now we're going to wait for this to load up, then we're going to hop straight into After Effects. Alright, we in here. What I'll do is, I'll name this effect, Offset Effect. Boom. All right. First thing that I would do is I would want to turn this clip into a layer. So I would double click on the clip and I would go to my roto brush tool at the top. And what I'll do is I'll start roto brushing around the subject because I'm going to separate the subject and the background. We're going to do this effect on the background layer once I separate it with the roto scope. Go with the roto brush tool. If y'all been watching my tutorials, my very first tutorial was actually teaching you guys how to do well how to rotoscope. So if you've been if you watched it and you've been practicing, then you'll know how to rotoscope. Or you know what I'm saying, you could just follow along in this tutorial as well. Alright, so boom. We got the first one, we got the first layer already roto brushed out, so I will hold command and hit my right arrow key. Alright. The rotoscope still looks good. I'll stop it right here and get around that arm part. Boom. Get over there by the eye a little. I'm not gonna make this roto bridge just perfect, perfect, because I don't wanna spend too much time. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. So we got a boom down here, going around the fingers. All right, we're looking good so far. Sleeve. Trying to get around this sleeve just perfect, man. Cause I don't want to just have a fake look in any kind of way. All right, boom, boom, boom. Ah, his ear clipped off. Hold on. Let me keep that right down. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. This clip is fairly easy because the rotor brush is keeping up with every movement from the subject. Uh, all right, let me go back one more. Get around his ear. Uh, 
Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. I'm just trying to make sure that the subject is at least average for this effect. We are almost to the finish line. Let me go back one more frame. Oh my god, why is this air like getting out of the rotoscope area? No. Alright, let me go back up. Almost at the finish line. Let me just get the top of his head right in the corner. And we'll continue to be on our way. All right, as you guys can see, we're at the last frame. So with the last frame, the roto bridge normally gets lost, so you'll just have to go over that subject one time just to put it back where it was on the last frame of the clip. I don't know why it does that, but we ain't gonna complain. We just gonna get it did. I can see we got my boy we got my boy roto burst out the only thing that we have to do now is click freeze and wait on it to separate the subject from the background oh no his hand was out of way it'll be all right though like i said this is just a tutorial if i was doing a real music video i just go back in there and fix that but like i said i don't want to take too much time away so i'm just I just want to just get it average at least for you guys so I can just show you how to pull this effect off. But for future references, when you're doing a music video, make sure that it's perfect. I don't want y'all saying, well, De Niro didn't do it perfect. So I don't, no, you got to do it perfect. Because in a music video, if I was editing it, I would do it perfect. No cap. All right, man, we almost there, y'all. We almost there. All right, we there. So I will drag on my timeline. I will drag the marker back to the beginning of the clip. Go to composition. I'll probably feather out the roto um, brush effect just a little bit. Then I will click on the clip. Hit command D to copy it. Boom, go down to the bottom one. Click on the roto brush and refine edge and delete that. So now at the top, if I turn that, well at the bottom, if I turn that off, you will see that the top layer is the subject layer. And if I turn that eye back on, the background layer pops back up. Okay, so boom, after you do that, you go to effects and presets and you will type in offset. Drag it on the bottom clip, which is the background layer. You will keyframe where it says shift center two. You will keyframe it at the beginning and go all the way to the end. And we're going to go left and right, man. We're not going to go top and bottom. So we will, boom, drag this. 
All right, I'm gonna probably put it on about, let me see, 15,000. Boom. That's and that should be enough right there. And I'm gonna drag this until everything is back to normal, right in the center. All right, boom. So we got that effect. The next thing that I would do is I would go back to the effects and presets and I would type in directional blur. You would drag that onto the background layer. And what you would do is you would keyframe blur length. And since we're going left and right, you would change the direction to 90 degrees. All right, you already keyframe blur length. So next, ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go ahead and hit you right here. Add a keyframe right there as well. And I will go to the middle, which is about 12 frames. And I will turn this blur length up to about... Yeah, that'll do. And then to add some more blur on it, I will go right here. And I will click on this icon right here. It's the motion blur tool. And then to add a little, if you want to add a little more blur on there, once you add the motion blur to it, you'll go to composition, go to composition settings, and go to advanced. Go to shutter angle. It's automatically set on 180 every time, but I, if you want to add a little more, I would turn it up to at least like 200. Boom. So we're going to hit space and let this play out. And as you guys can see, we have the offset background transition effect. It's rendering out. So boom. As you guys can see, this is how you would do that effect. But what I'll do is, hold on, let me see if I can drag these in to make it a little faster. Wait. So man, as you guys can see, that is how you do the offset background effect. Voila, and there y'all have it. The famous offset background effect. If this tutorial was helpful to you in any kind of way, please leave a comment down below. And also leave a comment down below, man, on more effects that y'all would like to see from me. Or you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here. You can DM me on Instagram and let me know what effect that you want me to do. And if you want to keep up with the latest things that I'm dropping, follow me on Instagram. I will have my Instagram in the description box down below. And most importantly, man, I cannot forget this. Like I say every video, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And that's just what we doing, man, in the shootout.